Oi, it just hit me again. Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be doing some summer kayak fishing for spawning snakeheads. There's a lot of fish here. I read up uh, uh, the fishing report. So yeah, um, it's that time of the year. Looking for baby fry, swimming around. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be throwing my usual, well, my new frogging setup, right? So um, for those who didn't watch my previous fishing video, I got the new Tattula Elite, spool with 50 pound uh, braided line. And I'm still trying to break in my Dobbin Sierra, okay? This is their SA735C, which is a seven foot, three inch mag heavy casting rod. In addition to today's video, Jimbo is gonna be throwing some finesse stuff as well. So I actually have a new setup for finesse snakehead fishing. All right, fam, we're gonna do some snakehead fishing today. As usual, that's what Jimbo likes to do. But today we're gonna change it up a little bit. I got a new setup here. This is the Daiwa Tattooer SV. 103 came out at the end of well more like fall of 2020 so still a new reel i just did an unboxing video hey doc calm down I'm trying to fish here man trying to do my intro but anyway guys i am going to do some versatile finesse fishing for snakeheads today with uh, this setup and also i got my tattoo elite if i need to throw the bigger frog but right now i got 15 pound braided line and uh, this is yozori um i fill up to the recommended well right just right below the midpoint right there okay and i measured it it's 200 feet so that's pretty cool 200 feet this is more than i need to throw light lures i have uh, a very tiny lure around um four grams this is a hollow body frog that i got from bait finesse empire and this thing could cast pretty good let me show you guys let me just angle this up a little bit and oh yeah i have the brakes on um, five right now all right that's pretty good i think with the left just a little bit i could probably compensate for that it's definitely a a light lure and um like i said in my unboxing video you do some bait finesse with this you know four grams is technically bait finesse uh, level there we go and actually not too bad i might be able to lower it a little bit but i don't know if the wind's gonna pick up but right now jimbo is gonna take this small little tiny lure and start buzzing the top looking for those snake heads i got the my og cast king uh perry g2 this is a medium light single all right doc you need to just go away uh <laughs> yeah this is my um uh, medium light rod right here rated 6 to 12 pound test line 1 8 to 3 8 ounce which i think is pretty good for uh, snakehead fishing now um it is summertime all right uh yesterday stormed like crazy so they might not bite especially the bigger ones so what i'll do is since it is summer uh time the first thing i'll do is i'm just gonna comb water like this is cast and just keep, uh, keep reeling hopefully i'll get some in the morning bite uh but the goal is when the sun is up a little bit more and you can start seeing those baby fryers moving around, we'll be casting to those and uh, see if we can nail some of those. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, those are baby fries right there. Holy crap. First one of the day already. Yeah, that's a lot of baby fries right there. You know, that is a small frog, so I don't know if they want to bite it. But since it is the first fish of the day, well, you know, first pot of the day, I'm gonna do a few casts before I out for the bigger frog. Bigger frog means a bigger threat, which means the snakehead will bite it. Right now, I'm just gonna piss it off with a, a tiny one. Hopefully it does work. All right, well, ooh, I made that baby snakehead jump pretty far, but so far, they don't want to bite. And look, I landed right on him. Sometimes you try to piss him off that way. And uh, no cigar. So uh, Jimbo's not gonna waste time because I do want to portray some fish. Oh, he just came out to breathe. That's interesting. But anyway, yeah, let me throw the, the pink frog. All right, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Maybe this big snakehead mama will come out. So look at, look at these baby snakeheads, a lot. So I didn't see the parent come up at all. They definitely know I'm here. Uh, they're likely hooked already because this is a pretty uh, popular spot. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get hit by this pot here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed some quick uh, footage. Airplanes here, peace out. All right, those crazy looking tree flowers smell so good. And it looks so juicy. Like, look at this. Underneath this tree, no bite at all. Not even a bass, not even a small snakehead. Like, 
you expect all the bigger snakeheads, you know, spawning and they doing their thing, right? But they're absolutely nothing. Welcome to summer fishing, guys. After raining like two days in a row, thunderstorms like both evenings, hiya, hiya, hiya. Weekend warriors, whoa, can never pick the good days to fish. Oh, oh, what the heck? Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There's some, there's some snakes right there. Oh my gosh, what's happening right there? It's probably a big one too. You know, you know what? I probably should put on the, the big lure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right there, but let me, let me back up for a second. Something like that happens. You gotta use something bigger. All right, so there's something over there. It looks like there's some babies over there too. I have no idea what's going on. Oh yeah, they, oh my gosh. Something's in there. Pod right there, a pod right there. None of them have parents that wants to hit. Jeez. Was reading up on social media. A lot of people have been fishing here. Caught a lot of fish last week. Hey, that means one thing. Early birds, it gets the worm. That's how it works, guys. That's how it works. Man, look at that, guys. It's a snakehead. I didn't even freaking have a recording. Like, I've been chasing this pod for like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes. Like, I usually leave it like about 15 minutes mark and it, it doesn't bite. That's the end of it. But yeah, freaking, dang it. I need to really return this GoPro and swap it out. I got the GoPro 9 and like it just doesn't want to freaking uh, record sometimes. It'll re stop out of nowhere. Anyways, uh, let me, let me uh, get my lipper gripper and get the down. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's take a look. This thing's a Mondo. Look at that. Ooh, what a thick one for the morning. And let me get a little bit more. All right, folks, that's the thick one for the morning. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Trying to get some photos. Man, this thing is strong. Look at that. Got the nice pink frog right down the throat, right on top. And let me just, oh no. Oh no, did I, did I puncture? Ah, crap. Oh no. All right. This thing is about six pounder maybe. Pretty nice snakehead. All right, I'm just chit-chatting and the snakehead is just right there. There's two of them. They're coming up. Oh my gosh. They're right there. Do you take it or what? There's two of them right there. You see my uh, frog? Oh my gosh. One left, but one still right there. But I'm dangling that thing. Oh, I didn't want it. Oh, it's still, still swinging it. I would figure ate it if I had to. But yeah, I'm chit-chatting with a, an angler on the side and this snakehead's right here. It's still right there. Yeah, there's some snakeheads hiding on the side right there. And uh, yep, he didn't want it. But they did come out. It stormed a lot yesterday, so they kind of uh, very iffy. Sometimes you got so uh, subsurface lures, but he came out, so they're gonna bite it eventually. Look, he came back out again. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a second. He turned again, but he's in there. He is in there. Look, he came out to breathe again. There he goes again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder if they're just uh, nesting underneath there because there was two of them that came together like they're together. So I have a feeling that they, they might have babies in there and the babies are not ready to leave yet. So I'm gonna mess with them for a little bit. Hopefully they, they bite. Hopefully I got some good footage right there because they came out. Oh, yeah! Got him. 
dude, I'm telling you, these dangling frogs are amazing. Oh, get me wet, get me wet. Oh man, that is a beautiful one. The colors on that one, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me get my gripper. Check out his baddie. Oh, 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 death row, death row. Oh, man, look at this color. Freaking beauty, 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 beauty. So guys, that was a pretty nice fish. And uh, like I said, I was actually fishing there, a guy fishing on the bank and he wanted to see the fish. And I brought up to the guy and like, he's saying that his friend is a chef, so I gave it to him because he wants to give it a shot. I am a total advocate for uh, snakehead angling. I hope that one day snakeheads will become a uh, game fish, a regulated game fish, okay? Meaning that there's some laws around that will help control the population of snakeheads. And so with that said, I sold him some frogs and I gave him a snakehead so that uh, he'll get enjoy it and hopefully he'll be hooked on snakehead fishing. Anyway, Matt, uh, it was great meeting you. Hope you're watching this video right now and uh, hope you smash that like button for me. But anyway, guys, let's keep fishing. Let me stand up. Might help a little bit. Let me see where the parents are at. Oh, that is some big fry ball. They're big babies. Yes, it's probably the biggest fry ball I've seen today, and also it's probably the oldest one. Oh, I just see the snake right there, he's huge, huge. This guy didn't want it. So I'm gonna paddle up to it so we can see something, you know, I like to observe them. So might as well share with you guys. If it shows up on camera, it shows up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, so yeah, they, they dove in, so you guys probably can't see it. But yep, look at that. These little bubbly things right there and duckweed stuff. I'm gonna get close and see what happens. You never know, man. You just never know. Like you get close here and they may get a little aggressive. Oh yeah, look at that. Imagine, right? And I say imagine me being here and it blows up right here and have it on footage. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Doesn't look like it's happening though. But that one other snake had earlier, he'd smashed my freaking rod when I put my rod tip like this inside. Oh crap, you, you, it just attacked my kayak. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> <He's> like, <"Boom." laughs> Do it again, I dare you. I dare you, try it again. Heck, I, I got a better idea for you. Why don't we hit my frogs? <laughs> what the hell is that right over there? Turtle? What is this? Yeah, turtle. Oh crap, that's a big snakehead. Like right here. Oh man. That was on film. He came out for some air. Could be for this pot right here. I have no idea. But he saw me. He's gone. Oh, the guy hit me again. Oh, look at him. He is mad. Oh, snake, 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 Babies, right in here. Oh, oh, snaps. I just saw them. I think he saw me too. Oh, that's bad. I uh, messed that one up. Ah, 
I got him. Oh yeah. Check this. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hello, Stinky. Yeah. Uh, where is my lipper gripper? I got it right here. Let me put you on the other side. I actually really like this rod. Like at first I thought this uh, rod is a little bit too flexy, but given the situation where I'm on a kayak, I like that flex because it keeps that constant pressure on that fish. And it gives me time to get this ready, you know, get them closer to the kayak and uh, get the gripper ready and everything. So yeah, pretty nice rod, man. This uh, Dobbins rod, Sierra series. Push up a little bit. All right, so here it goes. I would say this is about a three and a half pounder. All right, give or take. It is spawning, so the weight's probably a little bit less. All right, folks, that's the end of it. Um, very tough day, only landed a few snakeheads. And man, there's just so many babies out here, but I am fishing a very, very urbanized area. As you can see, there's a lot of homes here. There's a lot of folks do fish here. And when you see pods, especially the bigger pods, likely they've been out for a while. And uh, like I said, the parents probably got hooked already and they, wanna, they don't wanna bite. So I spent a lot of time to try to chase these pods. I actually spent some time also throwing uh, weightless swim bait, uh, some fluke, uh, some tinier frogs that kind of buzz around. Uh, this one here is from Bait Finesse Empire, four grams. And this one's from uh, Steakhead Outlaws, one of their rat snake charmers. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't get any fish to bite. Today, probably due to all that storming, they just shut off. So the obvious thing that you should be doing if you guys are snakehead fishing is just look for those fries and just try to get them to bite. And that's what I did. And uh, about a dozen pots of babies, uh, only three bit. So that's how it is in these urbanized area. So if you guys want to see Jimbo fish more snakeheads, uh, probably in more remote areas so that uh, the fish are, you know, hungry or just mean and they want to bite uh, lures that I throw, let me know because it is summertime and I am rigged up as you see. I got my new frogging outfit. I've been using that today and I got my fresh Daiwa Tatula SVTW. I was going to throw a lot more finesse stuff for these snakeheads and bass, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, I do want to go back out, but um, you know, I get so busy lately. I just don't know what to do and sometimes I ask my fans to let me know what you guys want to see. But anyway guys, I want to thank you guys for watching my uh, videos. Snakehead fishing is fun. If you guys want to see more of that, just let me know in the comments below. Else, it's going to be back to bait finessing. So, the fish don't wait, get out there, catch a fish.